How are you doing? We are glad that you have joined us this lovely evening. This is Benjamin Zulu Show and always pleasure having you on board. And this lovely evening we want to talk about what is wrong with men going to the kitchen? I mean, when this man was all alone there, at some point he would cook for himself. What changes? when he gets married that now he don't want to enter into kitchen and i will start by reading a comment that was made by uh one uh girl uh on a post that was posted by benjamin zulu on facebook and uh concerning this topic and she said i remember when my mom begot our third born we were in primary school hapo class three one day akiwa na kama siku nne tangu i had my father telling her Mama Ruth, I know you are not strong enough, but just wake up and prepare me for work. <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> I, 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 I <coughs> Do you know, uh -huh. the fight here really is mm. between the former mm. and the present. What, what used to happen and what must happen now? Mm. The place, the so our, our society was structured. And a lot of men have been fighting for that previous order. Mm because there men dominated they were kingpins women were nothing mm. except just serving the man mm. so they want to be served unquestionably and i keep reminding us if you want to maintain what used to happen we'll remain where they were mm -hmm. behind mm. economically mm. socially mm. in everything africa will remain behind because we negated the woman mm -hmm. Social sciences and studies have shown that any community that suppresses women, eh, all of it, they remain behind mm. because you are meant to collaborate at the same levels. But if you try to diminish a woman and make her a slave or something, mm. even today those groups where women are, are voiceless, there are no developments, mm. <laughs> there are no progress. Mm. And the children grow timid because they're being breastfed by a very intimidated mother, silenced mother. Mm -hmm. She's breastfeeding the child when she's crying and stressed and mm -hmm. suppressed and being commanded around and having no hopes and having no power, mm -hmm. no money, can't even buy one piece of cloth mm -hmm. without asking for money and begging, mm -hmm. can't promise this child anything. Mm -hmm. Anytime the child asks for a sweet, send back to dad, mm -hmm. asking for a shoe, mm -hmm. ask dad. Alas, that mom is powerless. Mm -hmm. When the woman is voiceless, the children too become voiceless what? because it's the woman doing breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. hey, the child is lodged in the mother's womb, mm. absorbing that energy, mm. absorb and the breastfeeding and the interaction and the skin contact. And fathers also are supposed to contribute, but the kind of contact the mother is doing with the child mm -hmm. is very personal mm. and very primal. Mm. That part of it's the mother who teaches the child that they exist. Mm -hmm. The mother starts talking to the child before the child knows whether they are anything, mm. before they know whether they are a separate entity. It's mm -hmm. the mother who introduces. Hey, you, how are you? I see you. Mm -hmm. Smile at me. Yes. Is the mother who introduces that to the child? Mm -hmm. Hello, mm -hmm. say this, mm -hmm. say that. And the mother repeats that until the child learns to mm -hmm. uh, respond. Mm -hmm. And you hear them talking. Mm -hmm. That language called the child is only women who talk it. Mm -hmm. Because they're talking to a child who's at the back and you can't see who's being talked to. Mm -hmm. And they're talking and they're walking along the road. Yeah. <laughs> and we can do a conversation with this. <laughs> yeah. And they're talking and they're talking. <laughs> Willie wouldn't do that. <laughs> 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 That's the instinct of a mother. Yes. They bring the children forth, not just bathing mm -hmm. physically. Yeah. They bring the psyche, mm -hmm. the child's psychological makeup, the energy, the personality. Mm -hmm. They call it out. Mm -hmm. Say baba, say mama, say this. Say. Sometimes we men also latch on when we come and find they were, they were talking. We participate a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh -huh. the person begins playing with the child from the time the child is just one day old. I'm genuinely happy to see the child. Uh -huh. <laughs> and making eye contact mm -hmm. and doing things yeah. and noting when the child is attempting, mm -hmm. communicating. Mm -hmm. That part is the child. Really, the, the best thing you can do to your children, make sure their mother is happy. That energy, she will pass it on directly wow. to your children. Wow. <laughs> if you mm -hmm. stress her, That's the powerful. same stress, she will pass it on directly. Children. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> you want brilliant children, mm -hmm. make sure the mother is comfortable. I'm not saying you're going to and pamper every day you don't challenge that's not what i'm saying mm -hmm. i'm saying just remember whatever is happening between you and that woman is passing on to the kids <laughs> so, there are, so there are some kids who are suffering out there yes because of the be of the behavior yes of this man they saw the stressed mom and they couldn't make heads or tails about the world 
Mm. It is so confusing and anxious mm. and depressing. So what we are discussing today is what used to happen versus what is happening now. Mm. Because men were used to unfair advantage. And it's not all men. Some of us are very comfortable to have empowered women. We wanted a woman who is, who is equipped. And as I told you, power is not attractive. Just use the word equipped. Mm. Wanted an equip, an equipped assistant mm. who can design a suit for you. Yeah. Did you want a woman who can't read, can't design a suit for you, can't help you, it's just your shadow saying yes sir, yes sir, yes sir? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. You want a woman who can think on your level. Yeah. Evaluate ideas with you. Mm -hmm. um, a man who is on the move today wants a, man, a woman who can keep pace. Mm -hmm. That's a sign of a true man. Mm -hmm. He wants a woman who can match up at that level. Mm -hmm. Who can view the world from my standpoint and advise me what else do you see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are casting vision. Yeah. We are casting vision here. Mm -hmm. And I need to tell you what I'm seeing. Shape it for me. Many things, as I told you, your true vision is too heavy to lift alone. If it is true, it will need more than your hands. Mm -hmm. And you can't trust your servants that much because they have conflict of interest. Yeah. They have their own visions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't mm -hmm. trust their relatives. Mm -hmm. They have conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. They have their own visions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You can trust your friends. Mm. They, they, they are friends. Yeah, yeah. And that's all. Yeah. <laughs> it stops there. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. you need them, but neither can they replace the place of your spouse. Your spouse is the only person you're supposed to merge visions with. Mm. Who can selflessly incubate. That is if you marry, right? Remember that. Mm. To selflessly incubate your vision as if it were their own. Come up with ideas that give direction. As I told you, if you are the hunter, you need a woman who is a gatherer. Mm. You are acquiring, she's organizing. Yes. Does not mean she can't acquire as well, mm. but when you are chiefly a hunter for your family, you need a woman who places this one here to give us the most advantage. Mm. <laughs> who knows which one? Who will do what? Mm. If I only gather and I don't, if I only hunt, um, hunt and I don't have a gatherer, it will keep on scattering. So I'm hunting, it's scattering. I'm hunting, it's scattering. I'm hunting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mm. so there's no accumulation, no growth, no progress, mm. no progress. And today, what is happening? I want to tell you the, the posture of a true man. Mm -hmm. And many of things you'll understand them. So we are arguing about whether he goes to kitchen. He should go to kitchen because many men were saying that's a woman's domain. It looks bad. And you know where, what? They are borrowing that from where? Back then, the kitchen was a, a structure, a hut over there. Yes. And it was women who used to go there to bring food. Mm. And it almost looks like a gentleman not to bother women with their space, mm -hmm. not to be intrusive. Mm -hmm. To look like, you know, to, don't, don't embarrass them by coming here. Mm -hmm. Those notions, they used to be there when you were growing up. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, that's why women are talking their stories. You know, that's uh, where they are talking their things. Yeah. That's where mothers and daughters are passing wisdom of life. Mm -hmm. That's where they are discussing the modeling life. So men were supposed to be over there with the men. The boys were supposed to be over there with the men. Mm -hmm. So the social structure at that time was segregated in that sense, that yeah. mentorship was being done around cooking yes. for women. Mm. Mentorship was being done around conversations for men when they are herding cattle, they're doing those masculine things. The social structure was well divided. Mm. And the homestead was big. Some houses were over here. Kitchen is over there. So for man to traverse all over and go to kitchen, it looked emasculating, intrusive. Mm -hmm. It looked like you're crossing boundaries. Yeah. In that setting, it made some sense. Yes. When you look at it that way, mm. today's social structure has changed. Yeah. We are not in homesteads where it is segregated. Mm. And that time, a woman did not have a career of her own. Her career was to just cook for the family. So mm. that looked mm. like it should be her domain and she should be able to function throughout. Mm. Today, women are not just staying in the kitchen to feed the family. They're mm. also going out there to look for food. We are helping each other in hunting. Yes. So the structure has changed from her staying back, me going hunting. Now we are going hunting, both of us. Mm -hmm. We are coming back gathering, both of us. She's still feminine. We are, she's not my competitor. Yeah. As I told you, many people are feeling uncomfortable because they feel like they will be replaced. Mm. And... Uh, at the same time, the contrast is we don't have a problem with women contributing to the mathematics of the family. We don't have a problem with them bringing some money. But you have a problem us contributing to the chores mm -hmm. that she could have done if she had nothing else to do. Now she has taken part of the duties. Why mm -hmm. can't you also take part of the duties? And we are not saying regularly doing. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying the structure has so changed and we are being biased that there is no problem. That time women could not contribute any money. Today they are contributing money. Mm -hmm. So why are we ourselves refusing to contribute anything to the other side? Mm -hmm. Is to say 
today me and my woman I team a healthy man today does not want a woman who is over there just cooking and bearing children mm -hmm. who has no competence mm -hmm. today you want a man a woman who is both equipped modern connected engaged relevant maybe there's this man who would say uh, me I can't enter into the kitchen but what I'll do I'll bring you a helper someone who can help you in those chores help us help but sometimes there will not be a third person every day mm -hmm. we could be in the maternity ward mm. we could be during a, a time we are away both of us mm. and you're the only person in a position to cook the girl is down with the flu mm -hmm. she's unwell mm -hmm. some women have very painful cramps when they come she's sick for two days mm. that time she's sick will you force her to drag herself when she's in, in excruciating pain drag herself to kitchen to just feed you mm -hmm. just because you are this man can't feed yourself mm -hmm. Remember when you were in college that time you were alone fed yourself. Mm. Really this is what you are saying. That mental stereotype of if I go to kitchen I'll lose anything. Mm -hmm. It's nonsense. Let's see what God intended. He made man to manage everything including feeding himself. Who was feeding Adam before he was created? Himself. So? Mm -hmm. You went to the cooking area, whatever name they were calling it. Mm. He was not waiting. There was nobody. Mm. There was nobody. Mm -hmm. He got the meat, slaughtered it, prepared it, ate it. Mm -hmm. We don't know for how long, mm -hmm. but there was a period enough for God to observe how he is doing. Mm -hmm. And then he commented, this guy would do better with a helper. Yeah. So before your helper comes, you live like Adam. Do everything for yourself. Wow. <laughs> Man, are you listening? <laughs> Uh -huh. That's a pattern. Uh -huh. Don't blow this out of proportion and confuse yourself. Eh? Mm -hmm. Everything in that home, Adam, is your responsibility. Help us don't replace. They only assist. They deputize. Yes. To help means to help in lifting. You're the one doing the main lifting. Uh -huh. So I'm coming in to assist. Yes. Uh -huh. Your wife is only an assistant. Mm -hmm. I want to remind yourself that every room in that house every today is not many houses those days this today it is just like one house and everything under one roof yeah so kitchen is just here mm. i mean times strategically speaking you're the one who is nearby mm. i'm home she's out there <laughs> uh -huh. will i start starving uh -huh. what was aimed was for a man to be able to do everything in his home and the woman to assist mm. one thing i'm happy that Eve was created that we would have to get pregnant ourselves. Now, when I try to imagine myself pregnant, uh, I don't know how well I will fare there. Uh, <laughs> so, when God saw it in his wisdom that let another person help us, mm -hmm. let the help she helps exclusively like childbearing, those, we should be very grateful for those. Mm -hmm. But let's remember when it comes to running the home, I am the head. She helps. Mm -hmm. So she will help sometimes in providing, help in cleaning, help in, but I should be feeling grateful that she's running duties that were otherwise my duties. If you keep that perspective, you find yourself grateful, not entitled. Mm. Are we together? Yeah. And so that some seasons, she's not going to work proactively. She's staying back, take care of you guys. You may have babies that are very young and she must stay back. So that you don't underrate just cleaning, cooking, preparing the home. Mm. And, and, and you don't underestimate the fact that she did not go really out there in the corporate world. And the fact that she dressed you up, prepared you, thought about what you need to eat, thought about check this and the other. Sometimes the woman is working from home and she's working very heavily. Sometimes doing more lifting than you even when you're out there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes carrying the rest of you is heavy. Mm -hmm. We are not saying she can't work now because this stay home mom say this is also very heavy work so they refuse to work and I told them when you refuse to engage the world and you only stay home after a while you become re irrelevant to the conversations about the world. Mm. One reason a woman must have even if it's a part time job online job is to remain relevant to the current world to be able to converse with who the partner about what they are doing to bring in the cake. Mm. If you stay disengaged from job, even if you are selling shoes online, you are at least out in the world. Mm. You can see what is going happening and the trends, how the dollar is behaving. Yeah. There are some things you are getting. Mm. You can see how things are going there. Mm. I was teaching people how you can't just print more money. Mm. 
And we said, these things should be basics, but they're not taught anywhere. So okay. let's discuss them. And people were very appreciative. Ah, so when we print money, it's just our local medium of transaction here. Out there, they want real value. Mm. We can't take these papers out there. Yes. People want dollar or the, the, the global currencies, hard currencies, or gold, mm -hmm. or goods, mm. or services. Mm. Not your papers. Yes. Your internal papers are for you, and they're always supposed to be always backed by a real thing. Mm -hmm. How will she know those things when she's closed in the house? And you know, when you're not being met by problems of life, you may not see the necessity to study these things. It's when she's wondering, what are these exchange rates? Mm -hmm. Where are they coming from? Who is inventing them? Mm -hmm. Who assigned this figure to our shilling? Why yeah. is it fluctuating? Mm -hmm. Why am I being told to buy our shilling? Yeah. How can I buy the shilling? I'm buying it using what? Yeah. Because you go to the bank, there's buying, selling. Yes. So <laughs> we are buying this shil Kenyan shilling at this, we are selling it. <laughs> Uh, when you land in Kenya, you need the Kenyan currency. So you buy it using mm -hmm. the currency you came with. You buy. And now, mm -hmm. when you buy, you use it. And when you are leaving, you have some remaining, maybe. Mm -hmm. Now you need to sell that. Yes. <laughs> uh, and be given your dollars. Mm -hmm. Then you leave the country. Mm -hmm. These things of market trends and economics and what is happening and political dynamics, that current, that current of life needs you to be working anywhere. Mm -hmm. Luckily for you, any profession engages with life. Any. Mm. any selling of goods and services even if you're running a salon mm. you will know the trends yeah. which new products are being asked for <laughs> which new techniques are coming up mm. which new gadgets are people asking for even mm. if you're just running a small thing like salon mm. <laughs> whatever you engage the world with as a woman sometimes you are babysitting some periods you may be exclusively because babysitting is a work for us as well you are working for us mm. you're taking care of our child but as we said nowadays we're not getting 10 12 children so that you're always babysitting <laughs> yeah. oh you're life uh, you, uh, <laughs> you you stay there for year two three and ideally when the child has gone to baby class you go back now <laughs> to the world yeah. drop them to school you're just working a few hours mm -hmm. ideally those hours they are also in class mm -hmm. <laughs> so you drop them go to work pick them you 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 keep your life balancing you're playing those balls and as i told you the multitasking required to run a home when it has three parallel things running concurrently mm -hmm. <laughs> that level of multitasking mm -hmm. i came to realize it's very demanding mm -hmm. to feed a family and keep the home going mm -hmm. <laughs> watch over these children and what they're doing next help this man with his career yeah. <laughs> those things themselves can, uh, yes mm -hmm. so is to say today's modern man cooking is not taboo because i, I was asking uh, this woman if he cannot cook for you can he look out for you mm -hmm. sometimes what you need is just a meal mm -hmm. and you're not able to wake up and feed yourself sometimes you have a problem that makes your hands unable to work your knee is weak your body just weak you may have a problem with appetite. You can't eat what we have cooked here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I will not only cook, I will go out there, two hours has cooked it and buy it, mm -hmm. to make sure you eat and you can sleep. Yeah. Remember, uh, Willie, you're going to marry a friend, you're not, mar you're not marrying a slave. Sometimes when men describe who they are hoping to marry, you realize they're talking about a house help. Somebody mm -hmm. who's voiceless just <laughs> here to, uh -huh. to serve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they look for somebody who's diminished, who mm -hmm. has no voice, and who's just there like an object. And this is about insecurities. Many men are very insecure. Very fearful. Mm -hmm. We talked the other day why they tend to go to this silence and exposed, timid girls, thinking I'll shape this one. Somebody told them they can condition people <laughs> into uh, becoming what they want. So she will never see another person, only me. Uh -huh. Human beings have something God put in them and you can't reverse it. Mm -hmm. Free will. Free will. Free will. Yes. <laughs> Free will. Uh -huh. Don't 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 fight principles of life. You lose every day. Mm -hmm. You lose every day. Mm. At that stage in life, when she was confined by circumstances, and you, you removed her from the cocoon of poverty and village, and you brought her out here, thinking she will remain as cooperative like that, and then she's amazed. Oh, so there's another world. Oh my God, how does uh -huh. this one feel? Oh my God, let me say, check this. How about, she's standing on you, mm -hmm. but she has a natural free will that gives her the urge to try, self-determine, see this, experiment. Mm -hmm. That exposure is there. Mm -hmm. Many of these men don't want a woman, woman who is exposed, who has a career. They, 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 they wanted a woman who just say yes and stay back. Uh, Willie, you can't go far when you marry your shadow. Somebody who agrees to everything you say. Mm. You needed a new, fresh perspective addition. Do you know how comforting it is when I know my wife will digest that issue and at least I can nap? Mm -hmm. we, somebody's helping me. We yeah. digest the issue. Mm. We, 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 we brainstorm, we draw, ah, yeah, that one needs to be worked on, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, let me know which idea you get later in the, and by the end of it, I was thinking we can do ABCD, that exactly works. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. What has happened? Somebody has generated, has applied their mind yeah. to the problem we were facing. Mm -hmm. And they came up. If you don't have a person who can think like that, what remains? Oh, it's you. Everything, it's you. And <laughs> you have more work to digest. Mm -hmm. You have more work to think. I was studying the history of the World War II. And they said Hitler fired his most reliable uh, generals. So he had to think everything by himself. Mm -hmm. Developed his strategy by himself. Well, of course it helped because he was just a pure evil man. Mm -hmm. And it helped him to lose the war and it helped the world in the end. But they were saying in terms of strategy, when you avoid hiring powerful people, when you fire them, when you silence them, sometimes you get a very powerful team, but because of your insecurities, you silence them, mm -hmm. muzzle them, mm -hmm. you mute them. Because of your fears, mm -hmm. you make them irrelevant. What happens? At the end of the day, all that burden is on you. The pace slows down because however powerful you are, when you are alone, you can only do so much. Mm -hmm. Some people are married by they are alone. Mm -hmm. They removed the, the freedom of their partner to contribute. Mm -hmm. And if, you, if, if, if she knows she has the space to try and exert herself, what is, it, what is, what is the outcome? She will end up bringing out her essence. Willie, let me tell you. <laughs> you only know you're married if I, we can see the essence of your wife in your life. Without you telling us, mm -hmm. we know this is a feminine touch. I can see the detail. Mm -hmm. Willie, that detail, mm -hmm. I, from the way I know you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. You know those friends who are just savage. Uh -huh. <laughs> the friends who know you, they don't bother hiding. Uh -huh. By this point, you're comfortable with each other. Yeah. Oh, mama did a good job. To tell her she did a good job. Tell her congratulations. Uh -huh. So the friend has noticed you're dressed well, uh -huh. but he's not telling you congratulations. Mm -hmm. He's sending you to the real person who <laughs> he knows <laughs> dressed you up. Please go tell mama, these are good shoes. Uh -huh. <laughs> And you keep it clean. Yes. You've been dressed and you can't keep it clean. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, you are, the essence of your woman should emanate quietly until it is improving your presentation. Mm -hmm. It is improving your energy. Wow. The second principle why a man must go to kitchen is because I'm lifting a woman who I don't have to dominate over, subdue, keep her in a small space of cooking and just serving me and just being at my service to being a friend and companion whom we can, yes, Predominantly cooking is our place and it's not everywhere. There are men who love cooking more than their wives and mm. they just love it. Mm. In the West, men are very okay to do the house running. Mm -hmm. Very okay. Mm. Maybe he's the one who works from home mm -hmm. or his job is such that he, he it's better for him to do babysitting. Mm -hmm. I can happily do babysitting. We get a deal that pays us better and it's my wife who is working for it. Uh -huh. I will happily babysit. Mm. All we want is to win. Mm. I don't care about this egotistical small positions, really. Don't bypass opportunities because of ego. Mm -hmm. I asked you the other day the example. If she got an organization offering her a heavy paying job, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we are supposed to migrate, I don't know to which town, uh -huh. I will happily do my shows from somewhere in Cape Town, South Africa, uh -huh. <laughs> while babysitting, yes. coming with a baby to work. Uh -huh. Because we came here for my wife to do a three-year contract yes. that is paying us in millions mm -hmm. <laughs> that we can use to finalize it ourselves free. Yes. Set up businesses. Mm -hmm. And we got this NGO job and they say, thank you, we are a team. I'm so, I'll babysit singing. I'll be so happy. <laughs> You have never seen me be uh, excited. Uh, <laughs> I'll push that. You know the, the way you go shopping yes. with the trolley that our baby is there. Uh, <laughs> you go see it ah. that baby. What I want is to win. Mm -hmm. What I want is to win both of us as a family. Not to win against my wife. Mm -hmm. No. So the second reason I want you to be a friend to your woman so that you navigate together. You scan opportunities together. You see what, which, which one is advantageous together. 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 Let me tell you. I would do anything. And, and the other day, somebody told me when the wife gave birth, unfortunately, she passed on. When the baby was just zit weeks. What if you are this chauvinistic guy who doesn't babysit? Can't. Life does not permit even recognize some of these narrow competitions we are setting up. Mm. Death can strike. Disease can strike. Life can turn south. And not to scare or even focus on the negative side, even the positive side, mm. an opportunity that is very rich to release us financially. Remember, we are looking for what? To win. Yeah. We are looking for financial freedom mm. so that we can do shows without pressure. How will we pay the bills? Shall we make it this month? You know, when you are struggling, mm. <laughs> it's pressure. Yeah. <laughs> 
takes pressure. Mm. If I had enough money to finance me, man, I would work even more. You know, some people get money and they stop working. That's why God never trusts them with the money. Mm. Because when they get the money, they never go to work again. Mm. again. Mm. For me, when I get the money now, I will try more things. Mm. I, because I've reached that place of saying, I'm working for the calling, for the purpose, for the assignment. It's not just for the necessity of paying bills. Mm -hmm. I'm not working for a living. I'm working to change lives. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. So it's not the money that keeps me waking up. It's the change we are making. Mm -hmm. why, why are Elon Musk working? They, have, they already have more money that they can eat. Mm -hmm. So why are they working? They have grown past just working for necessity. Mm -hmm. They're working for the joy of making a change in the world, solving a problem, seeing an impact. Many poor people don't get money because they keep swearing. The moment they get a million, they never got work again. <laughs> And God hears it. Okay. Uh -huh. So the children would have no teacher uh -huh. because you got a million. Uh -huh. All right. So your science and nature. Make sure uh -huh. she just has enough to come to work. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> because you keep swearing that if you get money, you want to work. Uh -huh. <laughs> you are not created to just eat. Uh -huh. You just sit and eat. Yes. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you, because you are saying you must be given on a little to keep you coming. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Keep giving it. Let me tell you, the second reason I want you to cook when you have to cook, go to kitchen. Go, do what you want, whatever you have to do. Mm -hmm. Because you do not marry a slave. Married a soulmate. Mm -hmm. You and your woman are team players. I can lift when I need to lift. I can carry her when I need to carry her. Life does not recognize this pettiness. Sometimes you can't dress yourself. She dresses you. You can't wash. She washes you. What if you are coming here with traditions and swearing? Me, I can't. Mm -hmm. Life is not like that. You are, you are fighting on the same side. Doesn't matter who did what. I told you the advantage of a home, you can go home and remove these suits and just lie on the sofa and relax. Mm -hmm. Where else can you do that? You'll be taking photos and start trending. Yes. You'll be exposed. <laughs> Get a home where you can dress down. Mm -hmm. You can forget this masculinity. Mm -hmm. you, can f you can cast your crown. The guys who sang songs about casting crowns. Mm -hmm. We can cast our crowns, forget who we are, just be home. And somebody can hand you, oh, you look tired, take this cup of coffee. How was the job? Did it go? Rest, I'll be back. Then they come back, bring your fruit. I got a fruit here, would you want... Willie, that's the care you need when yeah. you come from war. Yes. Stop this. I mean, why are we still fighting when we have another bigger war? If you are divided among yourself, you will fall. Yeah. A kingdom, a home, a family divided against yourself, it will fall. Mm -hmm. The last reason I want to give you is that remember, in, in terms of econ economic economical management and budgeting for the family and paying things, there are strategies that we call divide and rule. Mm -hmm. You divide the needs so that you can rule them. Mm -hmm. Anticipate needs before they close in on you. Now, in many places you find that the store for food is either in the kitchen or a small house that they call pantry where they're storing the food. If you never go to the kitchen, how will you know when supplies are running out? Mm -hmm. Does it mean because you don't go to kitchen, it's also your woman who, who, who replenishes, who buys groceries? I notice that when I don't keep abreast, when I, I'm not regularly checking where are we with what, I end up being ambushed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I was not prepared, yeah. when I was not ready. Mm -hmm. My wife, of course, is also working, but there are some things, it's me want to do them because this is my place. As I told you, things like gas. Why would she lift heavier things like gas? Mm -hmm. Because they're in the kitchen and I don't go... I, is it even practical? <laughs> it is, no. Some things like trash, what I need to take out. Mm -hmm. We are helping each other. For me, I found it very practical that when I can scan the house, check the store, what is running out, what is almost done, what is almost this, I can anticipate and top them up before they become a crisis. For me, it was also a background issue where I came from. It was always a crisis. Onion. Would you stop cooking to wait for somebody to run to the shop? Bring onion. <laughs> yeah. It was very embarrassing and I swore. Uh -huh. The day I get a home, I manage it differently than what my dad is doing. Mm -hmm. They were buying one piece, everything one piece, everything one piece. They everything. have money. That is the mindset. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's not about the mind, it's about the budgeting. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'll never wait for things to get finished. Mm -hmm. So I buy this and the other. I started on, so I said, this is the shop being used, this is another one. The day we open this one, I know, tip, another one is due. Mm -hmm. When you open the next one, another mm -hmm. one is due. So I replenish the store, mm -hmm. not the one being used. Mm -hmm. That gave me freedom. It's a philosophy of life. The philosophy I was telling you about the philosophy of full tank. You fill the tank so it can give you room to go without stressing about fuel for now. Mm. To release your head, the psychological principle is that whether it's a small thing or big thing, your mind concentrates the same way. It is stressed the same way. Mm -hmm. Tokens. Mm -hmm. If they're crying, tea, tea, 
and a car payment, which is a bigger thing. Mm -hmm. It's also due and insurance. So insurance and tokens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if they're approaching both of them, they stress you the same way. Yes. Insurance is a heavier thing. Mm -hmm. Tokens could be a smaller thing. Yeah. Just a, a, a nagging thing telling you, I'll cut out this power. If you don't do anything, <laughs> I'll cut out. I'll, you, you, I'll cut out. So <laughs> that threat is yeah. stressful. Yes. And, 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 and you know, three days to insurance, a message comes in. Yes. Reminder. Yeah. <laughs> falling due. Yeah. Or service. Something mm. more important. Yeah. So what is what is the most logical thing? Top up the kind of tokens that they'll never talk to you again for the next few months, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Don't just give it five hundred and tomorrow is back. I'm back. <laughs> T add another. You 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 know how to disconnect. <laughs> yeah. So that kind of threat you don't want it in your space. Yes. And because it's irritating, don't mm -hmm. just top five units. If I know I'm not moving for a while, I want to put it so that no nobody will be calling me from home. Tokens are finished. No. Even if it's up country, I try to find a way to hit it and take it very far away ahead. Mm -hmm. Then I go back, fight other battles, fight other battles. Before this one, if I come back, I also this one, I throw it far away again. What am I doing? That's a fighting strategy to conserve my energy, mm -hmm. to avoid being engrossed. Mm -hmm. It's called divide and rule. Mm -hmm. I want you to manage your home with freedom, to go anywhere, to check what is getting finished, to top it up before it becomes a crisis, to maintain your energy and control. That strategy of enclosement was used to in, in when the Zulus were fighting against the 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 Brit, the, the Brit, Brit. and th the Zulus won although their weaponry was very crude these mm -hmm. guys had guns and you know so 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 the the the, the, the UK army that time came with a lot of equipment but this guy had perfected how to surround you and confuse you and the moral of the lesson there was this life has a tendency to surround you and confuse you and overwhelm you mm -hmm. your strategy shall be to not wait for the enclosure to come near mm -hmm. Aim when the problem is on the horizon, strike it. Mm. So you are still in war, my friend. You're mm. just not fighting against guns and soldiers. Mm. But they are real threats. Yes. <laughs> they are real threats. Mm. <laughs> so go to kitchen, learn what is approaching. <laughs> Kick it back mm -hmm. <laughs> before it arrives. Mm. Arrange your so that you're always in charge of the game. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So thank you so much. We are grateful. Remember, you did not marry a servant. Yes. And so if you want to win, you need to work as a team. That woman, you can come together, work together as a team, and I can assure you, you are going to win big time. So thank you so much for joining me. My name is Will.